Yo, let me tell you some things about chess. This be your man, this be his man. It's a battle between the white and the black man. Now, this guy start down this side of the board. He start down this side. They be facing off against each other. Whoever dies first loses the game. These guys, they only move one square around themselves. They're very short sighted. Uh, next up is a foot soldier. Now, each side get eight of these. Let me show you how they stop. Ah, uh, second rank for each side. Fill them up with foot soldier. Now, these hustlers want to get to the ends of the board. They move forward. Like that. That's how they push y'all. If they get all the way to your enemy side, they can become any piece they want. Any of this. They got dreams. Now, to kill another piece, they don't do it how they move. They got eyes on either side, on their diagonals. So, if two foot soldiers face enough, all they can do is chat, yo. They can't touch each other. But, if they're looking either side, they're off the board. Ah. Right. Let's start off with your horses. Now, each side, get two of these. Now, horses can jump over pieces. And those pieces in the middle, they don't matter. So, they go L shape, two, one. See that? The other option was to go here. And where they land, they kill, yo. So, if it's your man, you can't kill your man. You can't move there. But let's say they got a horse here. He dead, yo. He off the board. Now, one thing with horses is they very tricky pieces. They got two eyes, yo. So, they can fork. So, let me show you an example. So right here, queen dead, king dead. Your horse come up two then one. And now, oh, ten queen here. So next move, horse can take queen, horse can take king. This is called a double attack. So next turn, black has one move. He chooses which piece to lose. Now, his king is his main man, so he gotta lose his lady. Next up, I'm gonna show you your snipers. Snipers move on the diagonal. So, this is on the black diagonal. He can never touch the white diagonal. So, you wanna give your snipers room to move. So, if you push these pawns forward, now your sniper got options. Now, because this game ain't perfect, you don't shoot like a sniper. You actually have to move your ass over to that square to capture. So, if I move this, I can go anywhere here and land, or I can land on one of his men. Take it. Dream's over. Next step, you got your castles. So, these start off on the corners of the board, y'all. And these boys usually ain't too useful to lack middle game. So after your horses and your snipers get developed. Reason is they move straight. Straight shows. But your foot soldier being the way of them. So right now it's kind of cramped. You can push this to get him out. However in this game the center is very important. 
these central squares and coming out they have the most influence yo so therefore usually you're gonna push your horse sniper out and then get your cannon put him right in the middle yo and then start busting out get space and dominate a lot of chess is about cramping your opponent yo controlling the center of the board you got more options at the center these corners just don't have as much influence they're too far away you want to be in the center of the attention ah so next up you have a powerful piece you got your lady now as a lady she can go wherever she want as long as it's straight so she can move like a castle she can move like a sniper any direction straight line now you be careful you only get one lady and if she dies that's it so keep an eye on her don't get her trapped yo but she can potentially be very threatening so let's talk about general strategy so game start off like this yo and what you're gonna play now usually you want to move one of your foot soldiers at the front of your probably lady or your man first as it goes one move each by the way foot soldiers go two squares on their first move if they wish now he copies next you get your horses out anything like